Hey there Pisces, I hope you're well. Welcome to Embodied Waters. This is your energy forecast for the week of 10th until the 17th of March. All right, let's get into it. What to expect, what is coming towards you. You can find the full video uploaded on YouTube and you can go to my profile page or link in my bio and the YouTube link will be there. The Hierophant, this could be about a transition that you are in. Hmm. It could be a commitment as well. I'm seeing the lovers here and the star. Hmm. It could be about a love connection or a past commitment. This is Gemini energy, the twins. So there could be something about that coming to light for you this week. All right. The Hierophant is also about your commitment to something. It will be to your journey, to your work. And this message that is coming now could be for some of you that you are in the process of investing in yourself. So just like a physical investment, for example, with finances, how it can look like, it's not always that you will see, or it's not uh how do I word this? It's not often that you will see the outcomes immediately. All right. So this may be an about, about an investment that you're making in your healing, in some work at this time. I and mean, it may feel endless. All right. Let's get more about this. The Hierophant. Four of Swords. Going into, into a meditative state, strategizing. I see Ace of Pentacles, strategizing on how to come in. Ten of Pentacles. This is giving immediately money, finances, there could be something to do with finances here. Uh, there could also be something to do with the tree of life connection. Maybe familial, generational, legacy, inheritance. I feel like someone knows that you're coming into something Pisces and they may be trying to come back in. They know confirmation. They know that you're coming into something. So let's see. And they would want to invest in you at this time. Yeah, there's something they're sniffing in the energetic world. Like they're actually sniffing it like, you know, wow. Okay. They can smell it. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. That is Four of Swords. So whatever is coming may feel flighty up there and you're guided to ground yourself because that is the path. Circles back to what came up about investment and your path. Stay grounded. Earth Guardian, more. Earth Guardian is also to do with the heart chakra, which is number four. The home. You're building a home within and your physical space as well. There's an element of home coming up. Summer, bask in joy and light. Similar to the sun card. So you may be working on aligning with the divine masculine within, or you are the divine masculine. Yeah, this is why this grounding energy is coming up and the Hierophant, usually the high priestess would come, but the Hierophant depicts the earth, earthly realm. Okay, what is happening in the 3D? So you are in a transitionary or in a kind of transition bringing heaven to earth 
bringing the high priestess to align with the hierophant. So it's a sort of commitment within that is happening for you. All right, let's see more. Oracle, wait for important information. All right, there is more information coming in for you. It could be in your dream space. It could be, you know, readings like this as well. Whatever you feel guided to. Let's get more. Wow. I see King of Wands in the inverted position. All right, so there's something that you reclaimed your power from. And... Yeah, they may be trying to come back in acting all nice <laughs> okay acting all nice so some of them may be acting all nice towards you right now hmm. the emperor could be a father figure eight of cups at the beginning of the week so this is just around the new moon in pisces which is your sign there's something that is empowering you around this time to walk away from something it doesn't have to be a person it could be a habit it could be a situation it could be a pattern as well that you are dropping this is someone who puts in their hundred percent into whatever they do all right this is yeah this is someone who pours in their heart to do something and there's something that you are you may be making a decision to walk away from, or it's just that time to do that. So it's not coming with a decision per se. Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. More about this. Five of Cups. Eight plus five is 13, which is four. Hmm. And Page of Swords is like giving, learning something. Maybe you're coming new into learning about something or educating yourself with the Hierophant being here. And Eight of Cups is giving something that you walked away from. And this person, whatever this situation, they're, they're watching you. And they're not happy. And I don't feel like they're not happy with you. They're just not happy with themselves. You have been on the path of your purpose. You've been working on yourself. The Page of Swords can, can point towards someone who is open to learning. All right, just open-minded. And with 8 plus 5, 4 of Cups, you may be refusing an offer. It feels like you're refusing. And that is a number of stability as well. You are in a trans transition. You may not see the outcomes yet. Yet you're staying true. Yeah, there is an aspect of truth here. All right, let's get the middle of the week. The full surrender, new beginnings, a leap of faith. And it explains what came about transition. During transitions, we don't see the end of the tunnel we're also not close to the beginning of the tunnel we're somewhere in between and then then there is an aspect of surrender that is coming here where you just trust the process and that exactly is manifestation Pisces releasing the outcome and this feels like what you're doing so whatever is coming at the beginning of the week, you are releasing the outcome. And it's like you're being open to something. It could be your own healing as well. All right, let's get the four. Two of Cups. With the Hierophant Two of Cups, then, yeah, there's definitely something to do with a relationship or some kind of commitment more about this justice this is a Libra card mm. excuse me so there could be a Libra in the picture whatever is coming in the middle of the week it feels like you're in your balance 
this is 211 alignment within so something may trigger you to jump off a cliff all right you know that flighty energy that came earlier then there's something that may trigger you to go like la 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 you know but then with the new energy that you are in there is that balance where you go to the edge of a cliff and you can sit there to meditate <laughs> and look at that we have four of swords sit there to meditate is this worth it there is a fine line between courage and um i think it was i can't remember where it was but there's a fine line between moving with courage and being careless and this is what this four cards here and look at that the number four four cards in the middle that is what they're depicting so it feels like whatever you're doing in the middle of the week you are sitting in your balance and moving with that end of the week three of swords ace of pentacles hmm as you open your heart okay it's like mm, i said open your heart okay but i feel like you're being open to something and that is also opening up your heart and through that opening a portal is being opened to you so let's see what events are likely to come up at the end of the week the devil so it could be something that puts you in a third party situation There's a portal that is being opened. It could be an offer coming in from someone. This is Capricorn energy. Um, and I'm not getting it could be a Capricorn. I'm just getting like Saturn, shadows. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Or you could have that in your chart. Yeah, whatever this is, there is like a new portal being opened up. You're releasing something. You're releasing a pattern. Something that kept you stuck. You didn't even know that it was keeping you stuck. But with whatever is happening at the beginning and middle, it's going to just naturally... It's like what came up with this Eight of Cups. It's like, it's not so much a decision. It's just time same goes for this end of the week you may not even find yourself doing this actively like releasing a pattern or i can feel something happening it's just time and that's because there is a new door opening so whatever is coming at the end of the week eight of wands could be some communication could be something that you feel in your energy like a kind of battle that you're facing and there is victory with this and this devil is giving balance as well there is that balanced energy here shadow and light so as a door is opening in the shadows there's also a door opening in the light eight eight so this is all about your manifestations whatever you feel like you're manifesting right now it's all coming together Eight of Pentacles. Whoa. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. I 
and the eight of pentacles is coming in the inverted position some someone is going down pisces it could be someone it could be a group of people Whatever this is has tried to weigh you down from the shadows. Okay, we have shadow and light, both having their, their shadow and light, all right? The light also has its own shadow. Um, and whatever this is has operated in the light. This is why it may even be coming in the new moon, because the new moon is clear. The sun is shining, whether in the physical, but there is less ch uh, chance for the shadows to operate but whatever this is is good as at hiding in the light and there's nothing is even worse than hiding in the shadows because in the shadows you don't have to hide it's comfortable so this stuff is coming from the light and it's been weighing you down now it makes sense why that message came that you didn't even know it was keeping you stuck or they were maybe a group of people a family what came with the tree of life all right you're visiting generational patterns you're visiting them you're being shown family Cousins, oh, cousins. You're being shown in your dreams, people that you've not seen in a while. And they've been hiding in the light. So it's like with Saturn and Pisces, right? This is Saturn energy. There's something about the shadows that is helping you. Isn't that gorgeous? There's something about the shadows that is helping you. You know, we talk about shadows, uh, energies lurking in the shadows. And this time around, the shadows are in your favor. A warfare going right under your nose or that has been going on I'm getting for some of you when you were playing some of the memories that you had of playing around doing stuff there was a lot going on at the same time The High Priestess, there you are in your power. And the Divine is saying, following up from what just came, that you may be shown more about these events. You were being hunted all this while. You've been hunted down, or they've been trying to hunt you down. Your gifts. Page of Wands, there may be a message coming in. Page of Pentacles. All right, it could be something that is an idea. Page of Pentacles could be news of money. It could be an alert. It could also be a download coming in for the High Priestess. And now that I see that, I see Hierophant. Finally, the High Priestess is here. So there's a kind of circling back around here happening. This is alignment right here. Seven, uh, four, five plus two is seven, which is the number of spirit. And as I said seven, the first thing that came to mind was seven of pentacles so an investment that you're making and perhaps the divine is telling you to 
keep on your path this is an encouragement this is like someone cheering you on yeah i can feel something to sh cheering you on right now to keep going four of cups there this is someone who is in a, in a meditative state they've been following their intuition and they didn't know it They didn't even know that the littlest of decisions and moves they've made have been their intuition guiding them. Because the High Priestess lives within you. The High Priestess is you. Maybe you're someone who has refused a lot of offers, moved away from stuff, and every now and then you'll question yourself am i making the right decisions and here it is yep as long as you feel it's the right thing to do you do it and the answers are all coming together pisces like i'm getting all coming together all coming together you're being revived there's a revival of who you are not even so much remembrance but a revival like wake up <laughs> you know waking up to your power all right uh, strength this is from the divine this is leo energy summer is here leo energy as well so there may be something coming up around the summer period it is August, it could, it could point towards August. So there may be something coming around that, maybe the 8-8 portal, because we have 8-8 here as well. Or maybe it's the summer before, with summer being the first card, there was a, a, something that happened in the 8-8 portal that activated this for you. Oh, wow. 8-8 portal in 2023 activated this for you and 2023 is the number seven let's get something from chakra wisdom enlightenment solar plexus balance third eye so there's something significant also about the full moon in libra that is coming up around the 25th of march yes around that date faith third eye chakra and then we have instincts crown chakra this is about neutrality staying neutral at this time and being an observer. Uh, let's see balance. Mm. All right, there we go. This card may indicate a reluctance to change. You may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. This can mean the start of a relationship. Proceed slowly. Maybe this is what the end of the week is about as well. Integrating shadow and light. So this other person, for some of you, all right, this may resonate, resonate for a few, uh, but there's something about a connection where the other person has been like the divine masculine counterpart. So they are helping you with your own shadows. So the shadow is helping you. All right, let's see uh, enlightenment. I'm getting 
something about running pisces okay that if you run away from this then you're also running away from yourself okay trust your trust your path there is a balancing happening between being hasty and being slow so it's maybe some impulses rushing to end something rushing to stand uh, to start something and as you're doing all of this of course and there are envious faces jealous of your gift and that's why it's been haunted all right enlightenment inspiration at this time your journey is more important than your destination remember if you face your fear you will grow stronger relief awaits personal inquiry my thoughts always drive my choices how can i use my thoughts to heal myself faith i believe this card came out for you in some reading faith royal purple brick we are all wounded some wounds are recognized easily while others are not forge ahead and do not allow your pain to hold you back you are meant to inspire others and if you do not carry on they will suffer it is time to deliver your message personal inquiry i have a tremendous amount of personal magnetism am i willing to allow myself to shine inspiration what frightens you is something much smaller than you know. If you are experiencing pain, holding on tighter will only worsen the situation. Your greatness awaits. Meditation. This is the time to let go and recognize your own gifts. Thank your guides for protecting you and not allowing you to give up. This is the first step in communicating and sharing with the world. The royal purple brick is a part of your path, not the entire journey. I am more than I think I am. I am more than I think I am. Hmm. This is such a beautiful reading, Pisces. Yeah, there's something significant during the summer period for you as well. You are an earth guardian. And all of this is preparing you to this. The high priestess being aligned on earth. Hmm. Just breathing it all in. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm going to stop here for now. I hope this message was helpful. I'm also getting that the high priestess is coming into her money. The high priestess is coming into his money. Into their money. Alright? If this resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. And I'll see you with more videos. Much love. Bye-bye.